Arena. Hey, um, when Mr. Johnson calls at four, can you make sure it comes through to our office? We can. Sure. Thank you. Oh, maybe we go with the orange instead. Hey, hon. Oh, yeah, okay. That sounds great. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. Love you, too. <laughs> okay, bye. Was that Will? He's coming by for lunch. He says he wants to ask me something. Ask you something? Macy. Please. Well, how long have you guys been together? Almost eight months. And Will's been interning for his MBA, and he thinks the company might have a job for him when he graduates. So he would stay in L.A. Well, that sounds serious to me, Alicia. Your bridesmaid should wear blue. Everyone looks good in blue. Paging Alicia Crosby. Well, hello there, Mr. William Randall. Can I take you to lunch? Absolutely. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, what's up? You said you had to ask me something. Well, I just found out West Trade has given me some time off so I can actually have spring break. Oh, vacation. Yeah, but not to the tropical resort you were just imagining. Well, I wasn't in... Okay, fine, I was. I'm thinking about going up to my grandma's house. She lives on the lake. Oh. All my family's gonna be there. Okay, well, that will be really nice for you. Well, it'd be a lot nicer if you'd come with me. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. I think it's time you meet my family. What do you think? I would love to. Awesome. Yeah, because I could use your support up there. I gotta tell my parents that I plan to stay in L.A. when I graduate in June. And it's a bad thing? Look, the, the plan has always been for me to take over the family sporting goods store. And considering how long that plan's been in effect, it's not gonna go over very well. How long has that plan been in effect? Well, I'm 28 years old, so 28 years. Wow. <laughs> I gotta go. Wow. Eating at 10. Oh, I should tell you, when the Randalls all get together, we do this family sports tournament, the uh, Randall Family Games. Wow, really? Yeah, my uh, folks get a little excited about it, but it should be fun. All right, I'll call you later. Yes, please. Love you. Love you, too. Oh, are you sure? It's 8.30. It feels like 5 a.m. That's what happens when you stay up all night packing. Wow, you look really dressed up for an eight hour car ride. Well, I just want to make a good impression. Well, in my experience, Randall's are predisposed to love you. Feelings mutual. All right, let's hit the road for a peaceful, relaxed holiday. Okay. to meet your family well i gotta warn you my family is really competitive and they live for the sports tournament oh you're serious about that deadly serious even my 80 year old grandma plays well you know i'm not athletic but i'm gonna win them over with my charm you gotta be great <laughs> i know at least i'll get a tan wow it's so beautiful here <laughs> it's so cute what do you think i love it Wow. Hey, oh, hey, hey. It's about time. Oh, sweet yeah, we Yesterday. Oh, hey. darling. Oh. Hey, buddy. How are you? All right. Good. Alicia. Hi. I'm Grandma Dory. Will didn't do you justice when he said you were pretty. You are stunning. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much for having me. Alicia, hi. Hi. I'm Will's mom, Barb. Oh, so nice to meet you. Yeah, and I'm Doug, hi. Will's dad. And uh, so the rest of the gang, this is my brother, Tim. Howdy. His son, Mitch. Hi. Will's sister, Sam. Her fiance, Jeff. And of course, there will be a test, so study. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on. Just kidding. There's no test. <laughs> Good. But I do have to run out of the shoes, because those are not going to serve you well in the games tomorrow. Um, yeah, sure. I, I did. <laughs> Good. So... Dinner will be ready soon. Let's get up to the house, okay? Okay. Um, 
You guys want to help out with the luggage? Yeah, sure. Hi, dear girl. Hey, hey, buddy. How you doing? Tim, good to see you. So what do you think? A little overdressy for the lake. Mac, be nice. It's the lake. Thank you so much for dinner, Mrs. Randall. It's Barb, dear, and you're very welcome. She didn't eat anything but vegetables. I know. Maybe she's one of those L.A. girls who doesn't eat carbs. One of those vegetarians. Mm. You liked it? It was good. So how's the uh, how's the wedding planning coming? Only two months to go. Grant's got all these plans for the house. It's going to look gorgeous. Why well, have a big old house like this if I can't host a fabulous party or two in it? Mm. Well, that's the thing we should do to, in our bathing suits out on the dock. Well, it gives a whole new meaning to walk in the plank, Jeff. And this is why, though, I will miss you. I'm glad you have to go home and go to work tomorrow. I think it's best if you don't help too much with the wedding planning. It's too bad. We'll miss you, buddy. Yeah, well, unfortunately, my boss, he doesn't place much weight in the Randall family games. Yeah. So, William, dear, how is Los Angeles treating you? Well, it's good, Grant. It's good. I still don't know how you deal with that crowded, polluted city after growing up here. Well, L.A.'s got a lot of nature, too, Dad. Great hiking trails, for one. Mm -hmm. Hiking trails with spectacular city views. It's the best of both worlds. Do you do a lot of hiking? Oh, no, not a lot. I, I'm more of a beach girl. Oh, really? Do you surf? I've always wanted to try it. No, I've never surfed. Uh, I just like laying in the sand and watching the ocean. Um, we rented bikes that one time, remember, Will? Yeah. yeah. Of course, you got to drive an hour in traffic before you get there. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah, there's traffic, but that's just because everyone wants to live there. Is that the party line? No, really. There are so many unique cultures and industries in L.A. Amazing restaurants and good colleges and universities. I mean, look at Will. He has this great education, and his internship went so well that they offered him a job when he graduates. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I haven't accepted it yet. Well, yeah, so I thought we had this settled. I'm gonna come back and take Randall's sporting goods into the next generation. Well, I think I've done a pretty decent job of managing the store the last three years. Even if I don't have a fancy MBA. I'm sorry. Remember, the store originally was Grandpa Ed's dream. We all have our own dreams. Yeah, the store will be 50 years old this fall. Won't it be great to have a third generation Randall at the helm? So I'll be bunking with Mitch, literally, bunk beds. Oh, sounds like fun. Yeah, and you and my sister will be in the room down the hall, and the okay. luggage is already in there. Well, honey, I didn't mean to spoil your job news like that, okay? I just, I don't want us to go to bed mad. I'm not mad. Hon, <sighs> you know how proud I am of you. And it's just really overwhelming to meet your family all at once, and I just wanted to help, and I didn't know what to say, and I, uh, I got nervous. I'm sorry. You know, it's not your fault I can't tell my family what I want. Well, they seem like a pretty imposing bunch. I mean, I can see how it would be a difficult job asserting yourself. Oh, hey. Sure. Well, hey. Okay. Good night. Good night. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, hey, kids. <laughs> Had to have my cup of chamomile tea. Yeah. For bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Grand. <sighs> okay. Good night. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ben. Uh, sorry, we got a. Little plumbing problem. Had to shut the water off in the bathroom, so no showers today. No, no shower? No, oh, it's an old house. Sometimes things break down. We'll have it fixed no later than tonight. No other shower? I like Will said it's an old house. Now there's only the one. Okay, well, um, I mean, I don't mean to be a pain, but what if someone wanted to shower today? Yeah, do what we always do when this happens. And that is? Take a swim in the lake with the bar soap. See you out there. Ah, uh -huh. The lake? Good morning. I hope so. Will's waiting for you down by the dock. Breakfast will be ready as soon as you're finished. 
Enjoy your dip. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You, you need some soap? Oh, um, no thanks. I brought my own. Hey. Hey, you should get the water. It's really nice. Oh, is it? Oh, my gosh. That feels so cold. Just jump right in. It's like pulling off a Band-Aid. Only way to do it. Can you really get clean if the water isn't purified? I don't think your beauty salon has that many hair products. <laughs> you can take the girl out of the city. Stop all that stuff doesn't kill a fish. All right, everybody, can I have your attention, please? Yeah. Yes. It's time for the games. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? Don't worry, I'll be right by your side. Okay. And this year, a new twist. The teams will be men versus women. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 You can call me Doug. Doug. Um, do you sell uniforms in the store? My company designs kids' clothing, and last year we did this line of baseball tees and mock jerseys. Oh, uh, that's really nice, Alicia, but we pretty much just sell legit sports gear. Um, plus, I'm sure your stuff would be a little too fancy for us. Excuse me just a second. Right. Hey. What do you think? Oh, I think it's oh. badminton, and you made it sound like the Olympics. All right. Are we gonna play badminton or what? All right. Good luck. Let's do it. Come on, Gran. Come on, Alicia. We're in the lead. Let's try and keep it that way. Not if I can help it. Let's go, Dougie Burnham. Go, girls. Let's go, Uncle Doug. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Swing and a miss. Have you ever played badminton before? No. Oh, well, you play beautifully. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll show them how it's done. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh, hey. oh. oh no. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You are. So Dad and I were talking, and obviously Grandma Dory can't play this year. Yeah, she's upstairs resting, but uh, she does want to referee. Well, if Grandma can't play, won't the women be a player short? Not anymore. No way. Will Randall? Hey. Finally, three years is too long. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. This is Chris Newcastle. We dated in high school. Hi. Yeah, they met up here one summer and they dated for two years. Yeah. yeah. And I'm the maid of honor at her wedding. Yeah. How nice. <laughs> are, are, you, are you okay with all this? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and this is Alicia Crosby, my girlfriend. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. So Chris is staying at her parents' house across the lake. I mean, how many memories have we had together? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the time that you two guys dressed up and you performed at Grandma Dory's 70th birthday? And Will was wearing the coconut bra? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so proud I was. Dad, I look good, come on. You did, you did. Hey, well, let's get on with this. Uh, next competition is the obstacle course. Great, I love that event. Thanks. Okay. I'll go get Ready? Mom. Wow, this just gets better and better. I love you, Dad, but I'm gonna win. Oh, yeah? In your dreams, little girl. Ready, steady, go! Come on! Come on, Doug! Come on, Doug! Let's you can do, do it! You've got it! Go! Go! Go, Doug! Let's go! Come on, Doug! Let's go! 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 let us Hey, we're gonna see if this thing softened you up. Get ready to lose, baby. Steady! Steady! Go! Come on! 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 Come on
on you. You gotta keep joining in. Okay. Okay, Mitch. Here we go. Ready? Steady? Go! Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. That's my boy. All right. Three and a half seconds. Oh, okay. No, you gotta keep trying to have fun. Yeah. Because you are up next. Oh. Come on. Hey, come on, Alicia. Hey, Alicia. Come on. Hey, City girl, do it. Ready, steady, go. Okay. No, I got it. Uh. Okay, wait. No, I got it. I got it. Okay, it's okay. Just kind of, just don't hurt yourself. Come on. Come on. Go. Pull. Pull. Move your hands. Got it. I give up. Yeah, that was a good try. Good try. All right, good try. kids, watch how it's done. Okay, doggy. This is yours. Go, Dan. Come on, come on. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah, Way right. to go, dog. Way to go. <laughs> Medic. Okay, Will. Will. Come on, Will. Come on. It's you. Show us how it's done. Let's go. Let's see it, buddy. Ready, steady. Go! Go up! Come on! 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 Come it's okay. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm all right. I know it's not your thing. You you took your eyes off the tire. It's okay. It's just a good thing that Grand didn't hit that head. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Doug. Swimming in the lake with the Randalls. Hey, when you move back here, we can do it every weekend instead of once every few years. That bikini is very petite. Oh, um, thanks. Make sure you put lots of sunscreen on, because everything's out and about. <laughs> hey, I like it. A lot. Hey, how about we have a friendly little diving competition? Yeah. Um, uh, sure, I'm actually more of a waiter than a diver. Oh, well, if you're too scared, Alicia, you can totally wait in. You know, though, if you never try, you never fail, but you never win either. Randall's family motto. So, um, if I don't try, I won't win. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, I'll go first. No, I will. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a negative two. Come on, Dad. It was at least a one. <laughs> Hey, honey, I think you lost something. Oh. Hey, how's the trip going? The trip is uh, good. Did you get a million mosquito bites? No, mosquito bites would be nothing compared to what I've been through so far. I, I practically crippled Will's grandma. And my bikini top came off in front of everyone. And oh, how can I forget the best part? Will's ex-girlfriend is here, and I think his parents like her better than me. Wow, 
Okay, well, um, I'm not going to ask about the grandma crippling because I'm sure you're overreacting. And uh, as for the ex... Yeah? Will invited you home to meet his family because he loves you, not her. Thanks. I needed that. Well, that's what best friends are for. Okay, bye. <laughs> you traitor! Okay, Grant, give us the next one. All right, name the state with the smallest population. Wyoming. 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 You see, kids, you gotta get up pretty early in the morning to beat the Randall brothers. Washington, D.C. was originally part of what state? Maryland. 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 Yes. yes. All right, all right. Now let's see what you got, Mr. MBA. Oh, bring it on, Dad. Go ahead, Grant. In music, minor scales come in three forms. Name them. I know this one. Um, I don't know this one. Hmm? Natural, melodic, and harmonic. Natural, melodic, harmonic. I am so impressed, Mitch. Well, that tinkering with that guitar. Imagine what he could have done to improve his basketball game. <laughs> Isn't music important, too? Well, I, I think what... Tim was saying that, you know, sports teaches you about life, competition, rules, hard work. That all comes into play on and off the court. Yeah, I'm just kidding around, Alicia. Mitch has hobbies, I get it. He's minoring in music at school, and my, his mother and I are okay with that. Hobbies. Right. Okay, uh, Grant, you got another one in there? Uh, I'll find one. Yeah. Double dinner. Good morning. Let's be honest. Right. Hey. Is there coffee? Oh, uh, yeah, right there. That's the tuxedo. What are you guys looking at? Well, we were looking at wedding stuff, but then Chris brought over this photo album from high school, and it's way funnier. Oh, my gosh. We are such dorks. <laughs> Let me see this. Take for yourself. <laughs> yeah, nice hair, Will. <laughs> oh, come on. I only looked as stupid as everybody else did back then. Right. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Hey, um, I'm gonna go take a walk. You wanna come with me? Yeah, maybe a little while. Uh, I'm just gonna go kayaking. You wanna come with me? Oh, well, don't do that to her. I mean, there's not a lot of kayaking in La La Land, right? Yeah, you know, she's right. You know, I know water sports isn't your thing. Why don't you just relax? Take your walk, hang out with the girls. No, I wanna go kayaking. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. All right. Just let me go change. I'll be right here. Way. Looking at really handsome pictures of myself. I told you not to wear that. I told you. There you go. There it is. Nice and easy. No, no, don't, don't get mad at the water. Just, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let me get it for you. I'm not a wilderness woman, Will. I don't. I don't know what to do. What's going on? Well, your brother's giving a kayak lesson to his city girl. Okay, all right. Stop crying, baby. You could probably use a good cry. Here's your paddle. Let's get you back in the dock, all right? Let's get you out of that kayak. Right. Remember your yoga. Be one with the kayak. Are you making fun of me? No, no. Almost there. You're doing great. Look at that. It's gonna hit, though. There it is. Okay. Uh, that was some pretty good coaching out there. That wasn't a big deal. You should think about putting a program like that together for the store. You know, like helping sports newbies. Make them more confident. Could bring a whole different clientele. I don't know, Dad. I don't know. It's a good idea. I mean, look, Will, we gotta find your stamp. You know what I mean? I mean how are you gonna bring Randall's sporting goods into the next generation? My stamp? Dad, it's not going to be kayaking lessons. Okay, no, well, something. we got to think about this. Hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> Made it myself. Real milk, cocoa, sugar, none of that packet stuff. Oh, oh. thank you. Oh, my goodness, look at this. Well, you're quite the artist. Oh, thank you. It's a shame the games don't involve drawing or making clothes. I could kick butt at those competitions. We were never formally introduced. Dora Sutcliffe Randall. 
Alicia Crosby. My point is, I wasn't born a Randall. I married into this family. <laughs> they can be pretty intimidating when we all gather around you in a group. This is something that Barbara sometimes doesn't understand. Yeah. And your um, other daughter-in-law, Kate, she didn't even come. That doesn't bode well. No, after 20 years of Randall Games, she's decided that she's done her time. <laughs> but, you know, they all come around eventually. But you have to show them what you got. Because these Randalls, this is a tough group to break into. But once you break in, they love you forever. And tomorrow is another day and another chance for you to, how do you say, kick butt. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thank you for that, Coco. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Grant, have you seen Alicia? She's out on the porch, honey. All right, thanks. Out here alone, all your friends? Something like that. Hey, do you remember our third date? You drew my portrait on a paper napkin. Yeah. I still have it. You do? <laughs> well, that's a good-looking drawing. I mean, I could not be. Wow, you're so humble. No, I... It reminds me of the moment I started falling for you. You were so focused, so determined to draw me a portrait. Even if it was with a, a ballpoint pen on a paper napkin, you knew exactly who you were, what you wanted, what you were good at, where you should be. And I knew I wanted to be around that. What about you? Do you know who you are? What you're good at? Where you want to be. I just want everybody to be happy. If that's possible. Bill! Hey, honey, can you help me get some extra blankets out of the attic? Sure. Sure. Am I interrupting? No. No. It's okay, Mom. Okay, well. <laughs> sorry to steal him away, but oh. I asked Dad to help and he said he'd get around to it. You know what that means? <laughs> yeah. No, uh,. Not a problem. I, why don't you stay here and talk to Alicia? I want you two to get to know each other. And she has some amazing drawings, Mom. She's really talented. Uh, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm sure Will could use your help. It would be faster. You know, I, I'd ask Uncle Tim and Mitch to help, but I don't know where they are. Talk later. Yeah, sure. told me how you've been running the store for the past few years. Yeah, I manage the place. Sales have been up every quarter since I've been there. Oh wow, that's really impressive. So do you want Will to move home and run the store? I mean, kind of be taking your job. He's my brother, I love him, of course I want him to come home. No, yeah, I know, I wasn't implying. And Will's wanted to run the place forever, since he was like five years old. Right, but if he didn't want to anymore, and someone else did. That would be okay too, right? Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. You know, Hon, I was talking to hmm? Sam. Uh, I was talking to Sam, and I don't think that she wants you to take over the store. Really? Did she say that? Well, it's not what she said, but it's how she said it. I mean, you kind of be taking her job, right? Well, yeah. But I mean, she just started working there after college. I never really thought it was her plan or anything. Yeah, well, it was your plan. Plans change. Just talk to her for me, okay? Think about it. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to go get dressed. Time for a new game. Feels like a kick butt day. Hey, you know, that's not a real kiss.
Ah, uh, he can't do well, it. How can no, a little moisture ruin really these games? Okay, Alicia's up. Doug and Chris next. Okay. Come on, go get him, Alicia. All right, we need two ringers to win. I don't want you to feel any pressure. Of course not. Come on, Alicia. Come on, Alicia. You can do it. Come on, Come on. you could be Seems a delayed game enough. here pretty okay. soon. Well, this isn't football, Sonny. This is horseshoes. Looks like we're having duck for dinner. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Chris. It's all on you. Chris is really good at sports, man. Is there anything she can't do? No. Hey, guys. Hey. Did she come to gloat? Oh, please. Chris pulled the game out for us. Hey, he's the one. The women's team won. Having the right anatomy doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. Oh, come on. All right, who's up for a swim? Oh, no thanks. Not me. No? All right. Plenty of towels if you change your mind. So, uh, how's that last feel, Randall? Isolated event. Sure, sure. All right, big shot. Why don't you race me down to the lake? Fine, you're on. Go ahead, I'll give you a head start. Okay. Go. Wow. Everything in this family is a competition. Pretty much. Is your Uncle Doug going to put lane dividers in the lake so we can swim with purpose? Don't give him any ideas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you later. You don't feel like swimming? Oh, I just needed a break. It's good to have some alone time on these Randall visits. <laughs> do you mind if, if I join you? Oh, please do. What about your family? What are they like? Oh, um, there's not much to tell. Um, I grew up in Beverly Hills. It was just me, my mom, and my dad. Oh, an only child. Mm. I can imagine how overwhelming it's been then, meeting William's family. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things to get used to. True. It's hard. But I hope that you continue to make an effort. I believe that it'll all work out in the end. Mm. Girls, you're not swimming? No, we thought we'd go out and pull out the wedding dress and try it on. Sam, you have your dress? Actually, it was my mother's dress. So lovely. It has a really high neck and long sleeves. It's just beautiful. I wore it. Sam's gonna wear it, and maybe one day her daughter will wear it too. Oh, how nice. You know, when my cousin got married, um, she wore my aunt's dress, but we tailored it a bit. I mean, we ultimately changed the style of the dress, maintained its charm, and used all the original material. That sounds so cool. Yeah. Well, why would you change the dress when it's so perfect? No one's changing the dress, Mom. I'm not going to maintain the original charm of the dress. I'm wearing the actual dress. Right. Yeah, it was just an idea. Maybe in L.A. it's customary to chop up the family heirloom. But here in this family, we believe in carrying traditions. Right. Of course. I didn't mean to intrude. I have a pie in the oven. Oh. <laughs> uh, just wanted to check in to see how things have been going since we last talked. Try to have fun, say hi to Will for me, and when you get back, we'll do our kind of exercise. Shopping. <laughs> hey, Alicia. Can we talk? Yeah, sure. I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I snapped at you earlier. No, you, you didn't. I felt like I did. It's just, you never believe it when people tell you how stressful a wedding is until you're planning your own. My mom just really, really wants me to wear that dress. And it just seems easier to toe the line. Yeah, I guess so. It's okay. I understand. Well, if it isn't my favorite horseshoe chain. Mm -hmm. You're funny. Thanks. <laughs>
Hey, I know our kind of family bonding is new to you, but it's important you get to know my family. Since one day, I hope you'll be vulnerable. My family bonds over reruns and a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta get down to the old ball field. Ugh, why? Last game of the day, kickball. Oh, finally, it's the last game of the day. All right, here's the deal. We're only four on four, so we're not going to use a pitcher. We're just going to kick the ball from the plate. All the other rules apply, and as always, Ref Dory's word is law. Let's blast some kickball. All Great. right. I can totally handle this sport. Yeah? Please, kicking a giant squishy yellow ball? I don't be that. All right. <laughs> Come on, Alicia, bring me home. Come on, this is easy. Come on, Alicia. Let's go. Come on, baby, you can do it. Mom! Mom, you all right? Oh. Mom, here you go, drink this, okay? No, dear, no, no. Fine. Well, okay, well, you should probably lie down or, or sit down or something. I am sitting. What if she has a concussion? Well, you can still sleep if you have a concussion. Yeah, you just need to be woken up a lot. Then you get some rest, and, and we'll take it in shifts and check on you throughout the night. No, no, goodness, no. I don't need sentries outside my door monitoring my sleep. Mom, we just want to make sure you're okay. Uh, Dougie, Dougie, please. I got hit in the head with a piece of rubber filled with air. No one fussed as much when William rode his skateboard off the garage. You're kidding. Afraid not. It was pretty gross, actually. Yeah, Mom, it's not exactly a fair comparison. He was 11. I am fine, and I have no idea why you all forfeited the game. Better safe than sorry. In this family? Since when? She makes a good point. Alicia, hi. You're really good. You're really good. What are you doing playing out here all by yourself? Uh, uh, well, out here it's just me and my guitar. No commentary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think about what it would be like to play professionally, but... But, but what? Eh. Well, who cares what others think? You should come visit me and Will in L.A. Check out the music scene. Uh, uh, no. I mean, no, this is just fun. It's how I relax. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, can you play a little more? I could definitely use some relaxation after today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be tiring. I'm bludgeoning my grandma. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously, though, next time, just aim for Uncle Doug. All right? Just right when he's in the middle of one of his speeches. <laughs> Deal. All right. Good. Come on, play some. Okay, here we go. Strike two. Come on, Alicia, you can do it. Okay, one hit, we win the game, Alicia. Come on. Hey, Will, wait, one second. I, I got an idea. One sec. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, Dad. That's, that's not cool. Oh, no. Hey, I wasn't making fun. Look, look, Alicia hadn't played that many sports. I just figured I'd give her a little advantage. It's only fair. That's what we do at Randall Sporting Goods, right? Help people get into athletics. Well, you know, we should all help Alicia harness her athletic potential. You know, help her contribute to the team and be a winner. You know what, Doc? I think I'm good. Alicia, it's just a suggestion. Look, sometimes you got to humble yourself if you want to learn something new. Wouldn't that be nice if that was one of the Randall family games, humbling yourself? I think I'd be like VIP or whatever you call it. I don't follow you. I think she means MVP, Dad. Oh, forever. You know what, Will? Throw the ball. Hey, I'm sorry. I tried. Okay. Throw it. Come on, honey. You could do it. <laughs> right, three. Hey, 
Hi, girlfriend. Oh, I know that tone. What happened now? Grandma crippling number two. What? Will said the Randall family games are for family bonding. Well, I think they're bonding over making fun of me. Oh, I don't think that's true. What about Grandma? <sighs> oh, it's true. And Oh, gosh, I almost just tripped over my own feet. <sighs> I'm sure they would love it if I twisted my ankle while walking and couldn't play any other... Mace, no, I gotta go. You... Alicia? Oh. <laughs> yes, I've been practicing. Ow! Ow! Hey, Alicia. What's the matter? Why are you limping? Um, you know, I don't know. I, uh, I think it was from when I was running all those bases in softball. You, you ran one base the whole game. Must have been that base. I'm gonna go rest it. My foot. My ankle. I'm gonna go rest my ankle. Hey, honey, I'll be right down, okay? No, 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 I'm fine. You, um, enjoy your time with Chris. You sure? I'm sure. A twisted ankle can be quite painful. Hey, what happened? Twisted ankle. Oh, you okay? Oh, yeah. Good. We sell these in the store. You ice to take the swelling down, and then you can put it in the microwave, and you get heat to relax the muscles. Do they sell really well in the store? Well, they do now that I put a display near the athletic equipment. Wow, that's, that's a really great idea, Sam. Doug, isn't that clever, Sam's in-store marketing? Yeah, sure. You must have all kinds of great ideas for the store. Well, I'm going to take my fancy ice pack, and I'm going to go read upstairs. Let you two talk business. <laughs> Ow. 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 You know what, Sam? Actually, that was a pretty good idea. Look. <laughs> this, this. S'mores. Campfire. It's a big no-no in the city. Oh, no, thank you. She eats like a bird. Bird on a no-carb diet. I think we could use some music. Mm. Yeah. What? What? Oh, no. Come on. No, Come on. Music goes with the campfire as much as s'mores do. I thought we were going to play for Edge. Yeah. Yeah. What? What did I say? I said charades. Well, it looks like her ankle is feeling better. All I'm saying, Will, is that was a little rude. Well, Alicia isn't rude. All right, this just isn't exactly her kind of trip. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Sweet, I didn't know you played guitar. Uh, I don't think she actually does. Alicia. <laughs> I know you said you wanted to hear music, but I think that's a relative term. You know what? I think you're right, Sam. I think someone who knows what they're doing should maybe play us a song. No, that's okay. I you should. Know. That's all right. Do it. Come on. Do you know play how to something. do this? Uh, a little. Oh, let's hear it. Just play something. Do you know how to do this? to teach your dad piano. He wouldn't have any part of it. Yeah. Looks like my love for music has just skipped a generation. Encore, encore. Hey, I'll play again. But later. I thought we were going to play charades. Oh, yeah. Yes, charades. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Um, I'm feeling a little tired, so Grandma Dory can take my place. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, charades. And... The master will go first. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Come on, you can talk to me. Well, I'm fine. Well, if you're fine, then why didn't you play charades? Ugh, charades. What's wrong with charades? Everything you guys do in this family is all about winning. I just needed some time to myself. Okay, so we're a competitive group. 
Look, I know this has been a lot for you trying all these new challenging things, but come on, isn't that what life's all about? Trying new things? Will, I have tried everything. I have made a jerk of myself trying and trying, and believe me, my failures have been pointed out to me. All right. Bye. Alicia. No, don't. Why don't you try something new, Will? Tell your family who you are and what you want. What's that supposed to mean? They're always making jokes about L.A. Your dad's constantly talking about how you're the future of Randall's sporting goods. Are you going to tell them what you want? Or are you just going to stay here? Live the life they've always wanted for you. Marry Chris. Oh, come on. They didn't invite her here to try to get us back together. Come on, Will. You are not that naive. Hey, Mom, Dad, you got a minute? Yeah, sure, son. I was thinking about staying in L.A. for a while after I graduate. Oh, yeah? Why? For several reasons, and there's no real hurry for me to get back, right? No hurry? You've got a store to run, and it's a little bigger than your personal life. It's part of this family. It's a part of Randall history. You know, I've been running the store for the past three years. I, I mean, I, I could continue to run it until... This is about that job your girlfriend mentioned, isn't it? But, Dad, I really, really Just feel like I... Just a second, Sarah. Will, we're really worried about you, honey. Yeah, you've... You've changed since you moved to L.A. What are you talking about? Well, to be honest... Alicia's not exactly the kind of girl we expected you to bring home. Why, she's not just like everyone in this family? Look, I, I brought her here because I think she's amazing. Because she makes me happy. But you took one look at her and you decided that she doesn't fit in. No, Will, we're not saying that. No, no, honestly, Dad. You didn't raise me to be this narrow-minded. I expect better. For me and Alicia. Hey, Mace, it's me. Um, I'm... I'm coming home early. It, it's a really long story, but Will can't seem to tell his family that he wants to be with me in L.A., so maybe he doesn't. Anyways, um, I'm gonna call you in the morning when I know how I'm getting home. Okay. Bye. Can we talk? You have said everything. No, you know what? You haven't said anything. That's the problem. Huh? But you sat there while your parents told you how much they hated me. They want you to be with Chris, and I'm sure she would want that too. Baby, that's not true. Don't baby me, Will. I am done. I, I am done trying to fit in with your family. I am done playing sports. I am done with this vacation. Just leave me alone. Just give me a toothbrush. I'll be on my way. Alicia, come on. You can't leave. You know what, Will? If you want to be around, you could have at least told your parents that last night. I did. Look, if you're going to eavesdrop, at least stick around for the whole conversation. Fine, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. This entire trip has been a huge disaster. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I know it's been overwhelming for you. It's been hard for me, too. I'm sorry, okay? I promise I'm going to make this right. This is the most alone time we've had all week. Yeah, I know it's been crazy. Come here. Oh, hello. Alicia, you know how to sew, right? Right. She more than knows how to sew, Mom. She designs clothes. 
Yes, of course, right. Well, the wedding dress needs a little altering, and we were wondering if you might be willing to help us out with that. Sure. Thank you. This is when I become the Randall family personal Cinderella. Hey, you go show what you're best at. <laughs> I think the sleeves just need to be shortened. Alicia, what do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah, the sleeves can easily be shortened. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would look so much better. And that's something you could do while you're here, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to need some pens so I can... Oh, they're in the basket. Hey, is that more what you want? Yes, perfect. Look at my little girl, all grown up and wearing my mother's wedding dress, I swear. Last time I looked, you were five years old and coloring the bathroom wall with your crayons. Oh, now don't you start talking about feeling old. All right, I'll be downstairs if you need me, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna run to my parents' house. <sighs> right. I think I need my sketchbook. The shorter sleeves look better. It helps, right? Oh, totally it helps. It, it'll be pretty. I mean, every bride is nervous before a wedding, right? It'll all come together. Oh, sweetheart, you're going to be a beautiful bride. Can you unzip me, Grant? Yeah. Oh, you're going to be so gorgeous. Mm. Mom? Hey, honey. Come on, Barb. Play some cards. No, I can't. Mm. i got to run down the market. I'll see you guys later, okay? See ya. So, how about you, kid? I don't know where Mitch and Tim are, and the girls are upstairs doing something, so... It's you and me. How about it? Come on, play some cards with your old man. Cut you for dealer. Deal. Alicia, thank you for helping me with the dress. Actually, Sam, I want to show you something. I know that it's important for you to wear your mother's dress, but there is a way for it to remain a family heirloom and to be your special dress on your special day. Oh, oh Samantha, wow. I know I'm butting my nose in, but I just want to help. That's beautiful. I look beautiful. Of course you do. It's just that I've always been a tomboy, you know? I'm not like you, Alicia. I've, I've never worn anything that beautiful before. Can you really remake that dress to look like this? I've been doing children's clothes for years. I would be honored to do something this sophisticated. Beautiful instead of cute. Thank you. Let's do it. <laughs> Get in that dress. <laughs> now, what can I do to help? Come here, I'll to work. I tell you, I think this is it. I just hope that I can do it. You can absolutely do it. This is your moment to show this family what you're made of. This is your home run. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We got work to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, cards. Take two. Two. Viva takes one. Hey, um, you think maybe Alicia might want to play? You know what, Dad? I don't really think it's her thing. Remember when uh, you used to play cards with Chris pretty much every Saturday night? Dad, don't go there. Four aces. <laughs> this is just not my day. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna do this, I am gonna need a sewing machine.
Oh my gosh. Oh, that is a beautiful machine. It's an old friend of mine. Does it still work? Dandy is the day I got her. She's yours to use. <laughs> Let's get you measured. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Line? Uh, it's, it's, it's a ear. It's a bear. It's a teddy bear. It's a polar bear. It's a polar bear. It's a pole. That's an ear. And that is, of course, a bear. Oh, uh, polar bear. Oh. That's brilliant. Uh, okay. Nice one. Uh, okay. Let me show you next. Here you go. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, a road trip. The, the landscape. Kind of. Uh, distance. Short, tall. Long distance. Yes, that's Long it. Long distance. Nice <laughs> <laughs> job, babe. Uh, yeah, Dad, maybe you should have Alicia draw for you next time. <laughs> uh, Going for a walk. Oh, hello. See you later. Okay, a nine letter word meaning where pathways or roads meet. Intersection. No, nope, there's 12 letters. Concourse. All right, that fits. That's one girl. <laughs> OK, here's one. A 14-letter word that means containing too many syllables. Sesquipedalian. OK, that's not a real word. Can you spell it? S-E-S-Q-U-I-P-E-D-A-L-I-A-N. Yeah, yeah, okay, fits, but uh, is it a real word? Sesquipedalian. It's in the dictionary, and it means too many syllables. Wow. Uh, okay, a six-letter word means arrogance. Surprise. Tell them. You tell them. Hubris. Okay, spell it. I can't. Hubris. H-U-B-R-I-S. Arrogance. Yeah, that's it. Doug, this is a really difficult crossword puzzle. Yeah. Seemingly not for Alicia. I think this is what you meant by kicking butt. <laughs> Sam, you wanted to see me? Mom, I know you didn't want me to change the dress, but I just had to have something more me. Uh, did you do this? Mom, no, Sam. Yes, Barb, I remade the dress. It's a masterpiece. What? What? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And you're the most beautiful bride, honey. Oh. Yeah. I'm so sorry that you felt you couldn't tell me what it was you wanted. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just want to make sure that everyone's clear about tomorrow. Right, we've all had a day off of competition, and I hope you rested. Because tomorrow's the final event, the 24-hour hike and camp out. Yeah. Great. Oh, here we go. So Doug and I enlisted the help of our friend James, who happens to be a park ranger, and he's helped us to set up the trails. Right, neither of us has seen them, so there's no advantage here. Each team has to retrieve five flags. Right, so two sealed envelopes, two maps, one for each team, and two separate routes. And the first team to get back here to Grandma Dory wins. I've been in a lot of things, but never a finish line. <laughs> 
Well, okay, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. We should get some rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good night, Ma. Good night, darling. Wow. You up for this? Yeah. How's that twisted ankle? Oh, shut up. It's fine. <laughs> Grandma, hot chocolate? Oh, you're on. All right. <laughs> Son, you have some extra socks in there? I caught it, Mom. I'm gonna go check on Doug and Bart. Uncle Tim! <laughs> That's like the sixth time you've checked your pack. Well, I'm not a wilderness woman, Sam. I need my supplies. Can you see me killing an animal and eating it? Skinning it for fur? It's not Swiss Family Robinson out there. Too bad. At least we know it worked out for them in the end. And in just two hours. Gee, hope she makes it. Do I look like a dork? Actually, I was gonna say, you look hot. But more importantly, you look tough and brave. Thank you. Promise you when this whole thing's over, I'll be brave too. I'll tell them what I want for my future. Actually, our future. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Even if you're gonna lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like this side of you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, morning. Morning, Barb. Good morning, kids. Good morning, Mom. Hi, honey. Hey, honey. I love you. And you're on your own. All right. All right, girls. Let's hit the road. So, Bobby, sure you're going to be okay here by yourself? I'll find something to do. When you kids aren't here, I'm alone all the time. Don't you worry about me. All right. All right, guys, let's go. Bye, Mom. Bye, Jeff. Have a nice time. Don't let the snakes bite you. All right, boys, let's make it happen. I don't think we stand a chance. This should be a piece of cake. This should be easy. <laughs> what? First one's a freebie, honey. It's kind of like a warm-up. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This way. Public. Yeah, inspirational, Mitch. Hey, Will. Yeah. Do you know anything about the music scene in LA? Yeah, I met some people. Flag. No, 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 no. I'll get it. Good job, kiddo. I'm so glad you're on our team. She's like a little spider monkey up there. Okay. Well done. All right. So, this way. Let's go. Baby steps. <laughs> Number two. All right. Yeah. Next one. This way, boys. All right, yeah, up there to the right. This shouldn't be that difficult. Ah. 
Mitch said this was hard. All right. There it is. But no way to get to it from here, so someone's gonna get wet. In yoga, we learn to let our minds go blank. Free ourselves in the face of obstacles and seek the path of least resistance. Yeah, whatever. Okay, you keep thinking those thoughts. Hey, Mom, be careful. I will, honey. Okay, don't worry, I've got her covered. My foot is stuck in the mud. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get you. Don't worry. Hold on. I see my help. Flag number three. Flag number three. Oh, how'd you do that? I became one with myself, sought the path of least resistance. Yoga? No, I looked at the map and saw that a dry trail went around. Good thinking. We're to the map. It should be right here. No, no flag here. I don't see it here either. Here we go, number three. Yeah, right. nice. Way to go, Dad. All right. Onward. <laughs> I'm actually really cold in these wet clothes. Yeah, I didn't want to complain, but I am too. Oh, sorry, ladies. I think we need to take a break, light a fire, and dry off. All right, they're almost dry. Oh, good. If only I thought this through like Alicia did, none of this would have happened. Well, oh, personally, I'm really glad that you didn't. I'm not used to these 20-mile hikes. I could use a break. Well, it can't be that long of a break. Not if we're going to win. We have to win, because that way Doug is going to do the dishes for an entire month. <laughs> Alicia, are you okay? Yeah, I just... You would think that my sunscreen's made of sugar. Or these bugs, they love me. Well, we are outdoors in the wilderness. There's going to be things like bugs and... If we run a promotion on baseball equipment in the winter, we beat the chains out on the sales. Or the shoppers go to your competitors in the spring and you have a thousand baseballs. You gotta take a chance to make a splash, Tim. Sales have been up every quarter of the past few years. Well, hey, Will, what do you think? I don't think we should be talking about the store right now. Why the heck not? This is a perfect time. We're all out here together in the fresh air, clear-headed. It's when the ideas come, son. Come on, Dan. We got a race to win. First things first. <laughs> all right. That's my boy. Come on, guys. Let's win this thing. Yeah. I save. We've been talking about that store until sunset. Sunset? No, Dad probably talks about the store in his sleep. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sarah, for coming up to the house. With the children away, I barely know what to do with myself. Really? Well, maybe I can think of one or two things. Well, that's it, ladies. We've officially lost. No, come on. We're resourceful. Can't we fix this? We don't have any clothes. So what are we going to do? Are we going to huddle in the tent for warmth until morning? If you guys are willing to sleep under the stars, I can use the material from this tent to make clothes for you. Well, how very sound music. What are you going to sew with? Like a pine needle and bark for thread? I'm not that inventive. My everyday LA survival supplies. With me at all times, I have to do chapstick, uh, mints, aspirin, and a travel sewing kit. Oh, and this army knife. This will help. Polyester isn't my favorite material to work with, but it'll do. You're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Hey, look who they are. Oh, what are they doing? They're just sitting there. 
Looks like they just stopped. Can't be. No way your mother would just quit. She's got me online doing dishes for the next month if she wins. No. It looks like Alicia's dealing with the tent. That can't be a good idea. No offense. Looks like they could be hazing her, but that'd be a waste of time. Ah, will you? Come on. Your mother wouldn't haze your girlfriend. You sure about that, Dad? I think we're focusing on the wrong thing here, guys. What do you mean? Well, they've stopped. Who cares why? Why are we killing ourselves to win? We're way ahead in the overall score as it is. That's a good point, Uncle Tim. I get them every so often. All right, but let's do another mile before we make camp. Okay. Let's go. I always thought fashion design was so silly. Who knew it could be so practical? <laughs> Actually, my sewing was originally all about practicality. How so? Well, I grew up in Beverly Hills, but my parents couldn't afford the really expensive clothes that my friends had, so I learned to make them myself. Really? It didn't take long before I started creating my own look, and then, amazingly, all my friends wanted to buy the clothes I made. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> I'm impressed. You should be. You really need to eat, Alicia. We have a lot of ground to cover. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on. Is everyone in L.A. on a low-carb diet? <laughs> Probably. No, I'm allergic to gluten, so if I eat it, I get really sick. Celiac. I brought my own snacks. Huh. Guess I had you all wrong. If I've been unwelcoming in any way, I'm sorry. Thanks. We should probably get going. The guys are probably way ahead of us. Yep. Let's hit the road. <sighs> okay, this looks good to me. Perfect. Oh, I thought we could use a nice cold beer at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. You've been lugging that all day? Good thing you're 21, Mitch. You yeah. gotta be kidding me. And they had us pack their stuff so they could bring the beers. All right, well, you gotta give it to them, Tim. They had a plan. Uh, used to winning the Randall games. Speaking of which, I wonder how the girls are doing. <sighs> Hope Alicia didn't slow them down too much. Dead. <laughs> Come on, Will. You said yourself she's not that athletic. I mean, maybe all this was too much for her. She's definitely a city girl, Will. Okay, I get it. You guys don't like her. Great. Oh, hey, no, 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 man. No one's saying that. You know, I'd be lying if I said I got you two. I mean, she, she's not exactly your type. <laughs> What's my type? Chris? Well, yeah. Let's go grab some firewood. You know, Chris, Chris and I liked all the same things. It was easy. It's not like that with Alicia better it's more interesting you know I, I get to teach her about the stuff I love and learn about all the stuff she's into <laughs> it's, it's never boring okay but is not boring enough no of course not she also happens to be one of the most amazing women I've ever met she's so passionate about what she does she's hardworking. she makes me laugh I love her okay Dude, this isn't a passing fancy for you. You know what? If you love her, that's all that's important to me. But is Alicia going to be willing to move from L.A. up here so you can run the store? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's a conversation for another time. I just hope Alicia's doing okay in the woods. Let's light us some fire and drink us some beer, huh? Sounds good to me. Just what the doctor ordered for dinner. Chocolate and wine. Sam! Honey? Got it! Flag number four. Awesome! We can win this thing. Let's go. Alicia. What? What's wrong? It's dark. Yeah, it's been dark for an hour. Yeah, but we pushed hard enough. We've been jogging with full packs. We've been hiking in the dark. Which isn't exactly advisable. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm exhausted. Exactly. <laughs> We need to get some sleep. So we camp right here. I don't know. Okay. See, apparently you can take the city out of the girl. Go figure.
Alicia, what are you doing? Morning. I'm packing up. Ladies, morning. Time to get up. If we get a move on it, we might actually win this thing. We've created a monster. I think we have. Come on, let's go. Burning daylight. Guys. Guys. Good morning. Hey, Dad. Uncle Tim. Mitch. Wake up. Well, we overslept. Why don't we pitch our tents? Because you wanted to stay up drinking beer, talking golden moments of football. How many of these did I have? Rookie. Hey, you guys think we can still win if we just go back to sleep for a couple hours? Hey, that's not what I want to hear. Come on, uh, we're not losing this thing now. Uh, let's go. One more rally. That's all I ask. Whoa. Head rush. <clears throat> you know what? Why don't we take our time? Get out of here in about a half hour. Yeah. We're way ahead of the women already, and uh, the militia probably slowed them down anyways. Sorry. Well, it's cool. No, well, you're right. At least she's not the most athletic. But we'd be stupid to discount her. She never ceases to surprise me. Oh, man. Hold on tight. So close. I've got her. I've got her. Yeah, okay. Don't let her go. Come on, Alicia. Come on, Alicia. You're Alicia, so close. come on. Almost. Just throw her Come on. on. Come on. Almost. I know. Uh, yeah, got, got it. Flag number five. Woo! Yeah. Well, I tell you, maybe, maybe next year it shouldn't be men against the women. This was almost too easy. Don't you think, Tim? Yeah, it's definitely not a win to be proud of. Hey, a win's a win. Amen. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Mom. Mom, we are back. Where are you? Well, the victors have returned. You boys been beat. Ladies, ta-da! <laughs> we won! <laughs> okay, what are you wearing? <laughs> Custom-made hiking gear, made by Alicia. See, I told you she'd surprise you. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, right. Congratulations! That was just pure luck. <laughs> Do you want to be alone? No, <laughs> no. It's so beautiful here. Hey, you. Hey. I really like it up here. Me too. Maybe I can find some design inspiration up here. I mean, if you really want to be up here with your family, well, I just want to be with you. I love you. I love you too. <clears throat> so, uh, Sam rounded everybody up and said you had something to tell us. Yeah, um... I'm not coming back to run the store. Oh. Look, uh, I, I'm honored to have such an amazing legacy to come home to. But it's not my dream. My dream's in L.A. And besides, Dad, you don't need me. You got Sam. You, know? you said yourself, sales are up, right? Well, obviously, she's doing her job. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Your sister does have it covered. Good. Good, because I like living in L.A. I'm excited about the job that's waiting for me there. And I love Alicia. 
She's the one for me. Now, if you can accept all that, we're good. We're good, son. Hey, you speak for yourself. I'm not sure it's totally acceptable to me, unless you promise to come visit, both of you. <laughs> I promise, Mom. Alicia? Oh, yeah, I would love to. Oh, it took you all long enough to figure this out. <laughs> all right, get out of here. Hey, Will, I'm ready. Hello? Will? Hello? Anyone? Alicia, please take me. You should take it. You've made better use of it this last week than I have in the last decade. Oh, I would love to, but are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. And then I can keep it in the family. <laughs> thank you for... Well, just thank you. Thank you. Where is everyone? Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> wow. We all thought you deserved this. Randall Games MVP. Most valuable player. Oh, thank you guys. I love it. I'm just happy to have made it through the games, let alone win something. <laughs> but I'll admit I'm even happier to be going back to the big city and to be taking Will with me. But only because I know that we'll be back soon. And you guys all have to come visit us in L.A. too. Yeah, and me too, hopefully. There's a great music scene in L.A. Don't worry, Uncle Tim. They'll take good care of him. I know they will. I'm not worried. And we have to come visit them. I mean, I want Alicia to maybe make my bridesmaid dresses. Yeah, you know, I don't know about this wedding thing anymore, Sam. We got a store to run. You're gonna make her crazy. <laughs> now, that girl is certainly different from the rest of the family. You know, you know what, Mom? It's what makes horse racing. It's certainly right, Gran. So, are you uh, sure you want to be a part of this crazy family? Yeah, I think I could sit right in. Uh, <laughs> get it. Okay, well then, Alicia Crosby, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Mysteries presents... I've come to make final arrangements. The last heir to a family fortune... Now I want to know the truth about what's going on around here. ...is put to the test to prove himself worthy of his destiny. You'll receive your inheritance if you meet all the stipulations in this contract. I don't trust you. Who else knows about this? Raquel Welch... He is our only link to the family legacy. And we'll make you proud. The Ultimate Legacy starts right now on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.